Hello, welcome to my channel, Diagonal Matrix. In this session, I'm going to discuss about the partition by. <laughs> the partition by is heavily used, um, you know, method in the uh, data frames. The reason why we're using partition by is when we have when we are dealing with a huge amount of data, um, it is not ideal to save the entire val volume of the data in as a single file. Instead, if we can split the data into multiple directories then that's easy when we're querying the data. So on what basis we split the data into multiple directories is based on the frequency, uh, frequently used you know, columns. For example, if um, you split the whole file by year or a month or by country or a department, so based on the columns you have got, then the file has been created into multiple columns. So that which, with which when you run a query, for example, select star from um, where the country equal to so-and-so. Uh, that when you run a query, the query automatically just go to one single partition and fetch the data. Obviously, that improves the performance. Instead, just imagine if there is no per, per, you know, partition file created, if uh, the entire data is in one single file, if you recreate a query, select star from country equals so-and-so, it has to go through the entire file. It has to filter all the data, and it's uh, unnecessarily expensive um, to the you know, system to process the entire data. So to avoid such complicated problems, we split the file into partition. Now, when we're creating a partition, you need to you know, decide on what basis we need to split the file, whether it is based on the columns, um, you know, which columns are they, we need to make a decision, right? Now, what you see here is a partition by. Now, in the partition by, you have got various columns. Now, there is no rule as such, you need to create one column, you can create a number of columns, right? So as you can see, year and month, something like that. Now, what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to explain you how exactly that I'm going to create a partition by. Um, right, I'm going to create a notebook here. Um, I name it as partition by first CSV TF equal to, I read the file first, CSV file, MNT data input emp dot csv edit true csv df dot show right so this is my data frame i converted the csv file to data frame now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a partition and save it as a csv file right the way how i'm going to do is csv df dot right dot and then partition by partition by here i'm going to create the columns on what basis i'm going to do let's do one thing let's create the partition by country and department let's see how it's going to happen country and department make sure the names are exactly matches and then file format you wanted to save. You can save it as a CSV file. You can save it as a pocket file. You can save it as a JSON file format. You can save it as a, you know, ORC file format. You know, it's absolutely in the comfortable the way you want it. Now, I would like to use as a CSV file right now. Now, the CSV file is provide the path where you wanted to save it. Now, the path is MNT data output and then CSV. This is where I would like to save it. Okay, let's go to directory, output and refresh it. Here is a CSV. You see, everything got created as in you know, a country and within the country, you have got a department. So this is how it goes. So if you go to Canada, you know, India, UK, USA, click on USA. Within that, you have got department three, department four. If you go to UK, you have got department two and five. So likewise, it segregates the files into number of partitions. That's the beauty you have got. Right, so that's the way you can create the partitions by. I hope you understand. Thank you very much.